Welcome back. Now for your five-day weather forecast, we go outside to Alicia Parchment. The warmer weather that we've been enjoying this winter may sadly soon be coming to an end. Let's take a look at your five-day weather forecast. Kicking off your weekend this afternoon will have a high of 1 degree, but expect 1 to 3 centimeters of snow tonight as we dip down to minus 18 degrees. The snowfall will continue into Saturday and it looks like we're, we're in for a cold day ahead as we'll have a daytime high of minus 9 and a low of minus 11. But during the day with the wind chill, it'll feel more like minus 18. Sunday, we'll get some scattered flurries throughout the day and have a high of minus 4 and a low of minus 13. Things start to warm up on Monday, but the flurries will stay as we have a high of minus 1 and a low of minus 5. On Tuesday, Valentine's Day, expect some scattered flurries with a daytime high of 0 and a low of minus 5. And that's been your 5-day weather forecast. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Alicia. Healthcare and kindergarten are just two of the items that could be on the chopping block in Ontario. Don Drummond, a former TD Bank economist, was given the job of cutting down the province province's debt and will release his findings next week. A Queen's Park source told Sun News that full-day kindergarten will be axed. According to some health groups, the plan will also recommend cuts to various health care programs. Police say they have arrested a man allegedly involved in the shooting of two RCMP officers. They say 27-year-old Sawyer Robison was taken into custody without incident. Robison was wanted on two charges of attempted murder he has been on the run since Tuesday after two RCMP officers were shot while executing a search warrant on his family farm near Killam, Alberta. CUPE Local 416 has a new deal with the City of Toronto pending ratification. The final step is for the union's members to vote on the agreement this Monday. Union President Mark Ferguson says he will be recommending the deal. Turning now to international news, the turmoil continues in Greece as unions launch a two-day strike against planned austerity measures. The strike comes a day after the country's bailout was put in limbo by its Eurozone partners. Bailout creditors say they have given them until next week to meet their cutback demands. Prime Minister Stephen Harper continues his tour of China, shifting his focus to human rights and oil. In his most direct speech since the, be since the beginning of the trip, Harper says that Canada wants to sell its oil to China, but human rights issues could get in the way. Harper says China needs to be a responsible global citizen. Now with your sports news, here's Thomas Surska. The Leafs lost their second in a row last night, dropping a 4-3 decision in Philly. Tyler Bozak scored two goals in the loss, while Phil Kessel, Joffrey Lupul and Luke Shen added two points apiece. The Leafs host Montreal on Saturday. Matt Sundin will have his number raised to the rafters in a pregame ceremony at the ACC. There were five other Canadian teams on the ice in a busy night of NHL action, and four of them picked up wins. The Habs topped the Islanders 4-2. Max Pacioretty had a hat-trick, while Scott Gomez scored his first goal in over a year in the win. The Ottawa Senators topped Nashville 4-3 in Mike Fisher's return to the nation's capital. Chris Phillips had two goals in his 1,000th NHL game. The Jets slipped past the Caps 3-2 in a shootout. Brian Little had the shootout winner in that one. The Canucks handled the Wild 5-2 Minnesota, picking up their sixth win in their last seven games. And in Phoenix, the Flames picked up the point as they lost in overtime to the Coyotes. So with last night's action in the books, the Sens have leapfrogged the Leafs for 7th in the East, although Toronto has two games in hand. The Jets win moves them to within four points of the final playoff spot. Meanwhile, Montreal jumped from 14th to 11th in the East with their win. They're still nine points out of a playoff spot. In the West, the Canucks win moves them to within a point of conference leading Detroit. The Flames' overtime loss to the Coyotes dropped them two points out of 8th in the West. In golf, Canadian Graham DeLay fired a 6 under 66 and sits tied for 6th, three shots back of co-leaders Dustin Johnson, Charlie Wee and Danny Lee after round one of the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Mike Weir sits nine shots back at even par, while Matt McQuillan shot a 1 over 73, he's 10 shots back. The NBA has named its All-Star Reserves with a Canadian fan favorite getting the nod once again. Phoenix Suns guard Steve Nash is just the fourth 38-year-old in NBA history to be named to an All-Star team, joining the likes of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Michael Jordan, and Karl Malone. In NBA action, the Raps host the Boston Celtics at the ACC in one of 12 NBA games on tap for tonight. Meanwhile, the Hawks men's and women's basketball teams host the Sioux Cougars Saturday and the Algoma Thunderbirds on Sunday. Algoma sits second in the OCAA West, just behind the first place Hawks. That's it for sports. I'm Thomas Serska. 
Thanks, Thomas. When we come back, we'll have an entertainment update with Philip Missiel.